Hey guys, welcome to the June 2020 Boxy Charm unboxing. And there it is there, my lovely assistant. Wearing my favorite re wrestling shirt, so you know what that means. Makeup time. Of course. What goes better with wrestling than makeup? Yeah, I don't know. So what do we have? It's a box inside a box inside a box inside a... It is truly the Russian nesting dolls of makeup. There's two things in here. That looks like a lip gloss or a liquid lip, perhaps. This is from Cab Cosmetics. It is a lip duo. Cab's Cosmetics, a charming lip duo, has everything you need to create the glossy lip you've always wanted. The vanilla scented duo, ooh, vanilla, is perfect for a night out on the town or a casual everyday look. Use the liner and gloss together or each of them on their own. That's a huge doe foot. Oh. Is that seriously what that's called? Yeah. Learned well, do something. you see how it, it has that little slope to it? Doe foot. Oh, wow. That's like pretty pigmented for a lip gloss. I'm surprised. That looks like a shade you would wear, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That has Yay. me all over it. Um, so, a lip liner, a lip gloss. It looks like it has a nice sheen. It is really pigmented. I'm very surprised. And they look that. similar in color, but not the same. Yeah. Do you smell the vanilla? I do. Is it nice? I really thought I was going to lean in. You were going to be like, bam! Bah! <laughs> you smell it now? <laughs> I would never do that. It'd be hilarious if you did that. Like, I would seriously laugh. That would be. My I don't reaction. think you would laugh. Actually, I really don't. I, I'd be, I'd be pissed. All right, here we go. Ooh. This is the Touch in Soul, pretty filter, glassy skin balm. I think I've heard an of this. ultra hydrating, priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. Hello. I don't really need glow. Ooh, it smells very nice. Sniffity sniff. Do you want to give it a sniff? Yeah, it smells good. I mean, like, I, I'm i still up in the air about how I feel about primers, but I will definitely give this a shot. Um, the packaging is definitely misleading of how much product you actually get, because <laughs> this is the top, but, you know, it feels nice. I'm a bit concerned that I'm just going to look like uh, just blinding people with the rays of sun bouncing off my oily, oily skin with this on top of it. But you can't really tell how shiny it is, but it, it's nice. It feels nice. It has like a nice tack to it. It does smell really good. So I'm excited about that. I don't know how um, useful this is going to be with my oily skin again, but what is this? This is uh, Artist Couture <gasps> Diamond Glow Powder. It, the Diamond Glow powders were created with versatility and customization in mind. Start with a subtle, luminous sheen, or build this powder up for an intense, amplified look. Diamond Glow powder is designed for all skin tones and types, so everyone can find their go-to glow. That literally says Gold Digger on it. Like, I'm not saying she's a Gold Digger, but... She ain't messing with no broken highlighter. Is this a sifter? Like, you turn it and it comes out, and then I dump it everywhere? Let me see. Is, yep, yep, that's exactly what that is. So, so, I'm pretty sure this is uh, Mac Daddy's makeup company, and I've heard so many good things about it. I'm a little bummed that it's a loose highlighter, because uh, that can get very messy, and I feel like... It looks like there's like a safety seal on okay. it. Okay. We'll deal with it later. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. Um, I'm a little concerned that it's going to get everywhere, or I might knock it over, or cats, but... <laughs> or get plural now. So, we'll see. I'm really, really, really excited to try that. I love highlighters so much, even though I am a greasy, greasy lady. All right. Next thing we have is the um, Beauty Beauty Volt Circ Circadian Lip Liner Trio. So, this is in. We have Natty Nat. Natty Nat. Oh, that looks to be... Like a red. Yeah. This is... Bow Babe. What is that one like? Like a brown. Oh, okay. Like a like a like a like a light brown. And this is Cozy Kira, Cozy which Kira. looks like a like a like a more rich brown, like a chocolate. Oh, like a warm brown. Oh yeah. Look at me. 
Look at me, I know makeup's so good. Good job. I'm so proud of myself. So. Kind of hard to see, but this is the red, that's the mid-tone, and that's the richer brown there. And I'm probably going to do some lip swatches with these. So hopefully the red doesn't stain too much. I'll probably start out with, like, the the warmest brown to begin with and then kind of go from there. I'm sorry, the loudest paper in the world says what? <laughs> okay, last and certainly not least is the Zova Eyeshadow Palette. It's called Spice of Life. Spice of Life? Oh, show that part. Sp no, no, it's the same. So there we go. The Spice of Life. I don't think I've heard of this company so, before. So, what we have here, those are a lot of colors you would probably use. So it's like a very warm, neutral palette. Mm -hmm. Are there mattes and shimmers in there? Yes. So the mattes you have... Uh, a nuisance is this one right here. The next one in is unlike any other. I'm very bad at this. You're doing great. Uh, this is fortuitous moments. Balance the contrast. The flavor uh, of the flavor. Surprise of life or surprises of life. Favorite discovery. Variety is key and shared joy. I was pretty good for reading everything upside down. Good job. So it looks like a chocolate bar, actually. It does look like a chocolate bar. The packaging is really pretty and nice and shiny and reflective. Here, um, there's the sleeve if you want to put you. it back on there. I'm really So, so the Zova eyeshadow palette offers a range of highly pigmented and easy to blend eyeshadow shades and tempting hues for ultra glamorous makeup looks. These eyeshadows feature a formulation enriched with vitamin E. Oh, that's neat. Get your vitamin E, girl. Oh, that's very pigmented. So, uh... Yeah, oh yeah, the uh, lip liner trio says, uh, Our lip liners are buttery smooth, which glides on and blends easy. They are richly pigmented and long-wearing. So, it looks like those lip things are probably going to stain nice <laughs> i'm here for it so excited to do a look with these these are definitely like way tamer colors than i'm usually drawn to but the formulation seems like it's going to be a really nice application i'm super stoked for that so uh it looks like the lip liner trio would go well with that oh yeah even the the lip gloss lip liner and like highlighter goes with everything so yep. super stoked to try that can't wait um i guess we'll get on to the try on portion of this video then i will not be here so bye mm -hmm. all right so i'm gonna start out with the eyeshadow palette as i'm very messy and if it tends to have a lot of fallout i'd rather just be able to wipe it away before I do my base so I did prime my eyes with the pretty vulgar primer that we got in one of the boxes it might have been last month but I don't remember so I'm going to use the palette I think I'm gonna do like a halo eye and we're just sort of gonna speed through this part it's very late in the day for me to be putting makeup on it's almost 3 p.m. and I had to drag myself away from watching RuPaul's Drag Race because I can't stop watching it and I love it so much so here we go. I think I'm going to do this in the crease, this on the inner and outer portion, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the middle, but we'll figure it out.
so a problem I ran into is the brown that I used on the inner and outer corner of this guy has shimmer in it. I didn't think it had shimmer in it, but it's also just not really as deep as I want it to be. So I'm just going to crack into my conspiracy palette and use that black in there just to deepen it up a bit and give it more richness and more matteness because I don't want all this shimmer. So here we go. <laughs> Well aware that the eyes kind of look crazy right now. I just put some liner on, just simple liner, a little mascara. I think it's going to be one of those things where it looks just absolutely insane and messy until I put lashes on and finish everything else up and of course eyebrows because like I don't have any. So that always throws things off and I feel like the camera really isn't picking up how the eyeshadow looks in person which is a bummer but I will insert some pictures of the final look. I'm going to use that glass, glassy, glossy, glassy skin. See how this works out. Feels kind of like glue when you put it on, which love that for me. It's like, I think I got too much. It's like a thicker texture than I was expecting. And I did just wash my face. I didn't moisturize just because I don't know how that's going to work with this stuff. I don't think I would need moisturizer the way it feels. I, I This has like a very melty feel to it when you apply it. I hope I didn't put too much on. So I'm going to let this sink, sink in and um, finish my face makeup and probably do my lashes, lower lashes, eyebrows, of course. And then we have the highlighter and all the lip stuff to test out next. All right, so my face is almost complete on the lower lash line. I used this kind of, it's more red in person. It's kind of like a very deep burnt burgundy. And then I use this under my brow bone and this in my inner corner just to give it a little sparkle, which isn't really picking up too well on camera, but that's all right. So now we're going to move on to the loose highlighter, which I'm a little bit nervous about. And it was really hard to get the little plastic thing, the protector thing off of the inside of the component. So that was a bit of a struggle. So I'm just going to tap in. I can't see anything, so I'm going to lean in. That is gorgeous. Um, I love that. My faraway mirror, it looks nice and shimmery, but it does not seem to have glitter, which is delightful. And I put like a really small amount in here because I didn't want to not use all of it and then have it spill everywhere inside the container or on my desk. Like, hello, that's really pretty. Uh, I put too much on this side, but I'm gonna diffuse it a little bit once I lay it down in all the places at once. That's really nice. I like that a whole lot. So yeah, that's, that's a win. I just wish like, there's a lot left in here and I'm going to try to tap it back into the container and not get it everywhere. Nope. All right, cool. Everything's going to have a little bit of a sheen to it, but you know, whatever. Diffuse that a bit. That's gorgeous. I really like that. I just, I really wish it was in a pressed pan. All right. 
So moving on, we'll do the lip liner lip gloss combo here. I took off my foundation lips after I did my skin. And I feel like this is not going to look right with the eyes, but we're going to wipe it off and try the other lip liners too. That's really pretty. I really, really, really like this formula. It's not that sticky tacky feeling that you don't want. It felt, it feels like kind of more of an oil in it rather than like a sticky lip gloss. And I really enjoy that on camera. It doesn't look that bad with the eyes, but no, 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 we're not, we're not going to keep that. So I'm going to remove it. That'd be really pretty on a day where you have your hair up and you're not in any wind because we all know lip gloss and wind don't go together. Okay. On to the lip liners and I dropped one. So these guys here, I'm probably going to start off with, hmm, Probably the middle one first. Not my best work, but I feel like this is more warm than I had anticipated it would be. It's pretty. It's very creamy. And we'll try the next one. I'm going to do the red one next just because I feel like the last one, the more rich brown one, I'll probably keep on. Not my best application, but that's really pretty. It's like a hint of magenta in the red, which I love. I have a bunch of lipsticks that would go great with this. So I'll take this one off. I think that's the winner. That will go probably best with these eyes. So trying all of these products. The eyeshadow palette, I do like. The shadows are really nice quality. I just wish that there was a little bit more color variety because I do have already a bunch of warm neutral palettes. And I, I thought it was a strange decision to have that dark brown a shimmer. I really thought that it was a matte. Um, I haven't tried, you know, a lot of the lighter tawny and brown shades, but I will give them a shot. They were really, really nice to blend. I really enjoyed them. And this color in particular is gorgeous with the shimmer. There's a little bit of sparkle in it, but it doesn't bother me. Um, the loose highlighter, I'm so sad that this is a loose highlighter. I wonder if they make this in a pressed formula because I would totally buy that. It's gorgeous. It's probably going to last me forever because a little dab will do ya. And this went a really long way. I was really happy with that. Um... Where'd the skin glass go? There it is. The glassy skin. I did notice my foundation went on like really nicely over this. I did let it dry down a tiny bit. You know, I, I still felt like there was a little bit of something left on my skin before I applied it. Like it didn't completely sink in, which is fine. I'm still concerned, you know, it it's almost summer. It's We've had a bunch of days in the high 80s, 90s, and um, I'm oily, so th this might be more of a winter product for me, but it did leave a really nice finish. My skin looks, you know, it's not matte. It still has a nice dew to it, so that, that was really nice. Um, I do really like these. I love this gloss formula. This is really, really great doesn't leave you with that stickiness or that feeling like you're going to have strings when you open your mouth, if you know what I mean. Um, very stoked to try that. And the lip pencils, really creamy formulation. The component smells a little funny. I don't know. 
if it's just, you know, it's going to go away after a little while since it's, you know, once it's been out of its box for a bit. But the application was really nice. It does not feel drying. I'm going to try to find a lipstick to match this to go over it or at least, you know, give it a little bit more coverage. But these were really cool. And I think that's all that I got in my boxy charm. What did you get in your boxy? Let me know in the comments down below. Have you tried that glassy skin before? How did it work out for you? Perhaps I'll film something in, you know, a few hours after I've been going on with my day a little bit just to see how my foundation wears. Um, if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did like this video. Or you could hit the like button if uh, it's starting to get a little bit too hot for your preference outside. I know a lot of people are summer people. I am not one of those people. Uh, like the video if you can't stop watching Drag Race or Dragula, which I've watched probably three times since quarantine started. Um, hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. And I will see you guys later. Have a happy June. All right, I just wanted to give a quick update here. I think it's probably been, I don't know, four or five hours and I'm noticeably shiny. I uh, haven't touched up really anything other than the lipstick after I ate dinner. Um, I was doing like a lot of household stuff like cleaning, vacuuming, doing laundry, dishes, cooking, etc. So it's going to be really my norm for me to look oily. But I feel like the foundation that I have over the glassy skin really hasn't transferred around a whole lot. So that's awesome. The eyeshadow held up really, really well. I didn't realize how like janky this eyelash looked until um, I was trying to take pictures for the thumbnail. Hello? There's a tiny elf behind me just purring loudly doing weird things. Um, so yes the palette's great i just wish it was different colors and different formulas and i still like i don't i don't know how i feel about the glassy skin because i really don't need it but lip liner lip liner's great um and of course the highlight the highlight still looks incredible as it did when i put it on um i'm so excited to have that in my collection but just wanted to give like a little mini wear test here and let you know how everything went but see you later check 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 naked mole rat check it a check 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 are you ready yeah i can't hear you oh, i'm too tired oh who's up way too late at night us doing makeup stuff <laughs>